Hello y'all, how is everyone doing? So, we are cleaning up my house. Well, yeah, of course we're cleaning up my house. So most of this video happened all in one day. This was the Saturday before we left to go to, let's see, where did we go? We went to Ohio to see The Cure. Actually, this was a, no, I don't know what day of the week, y'all. This was definitely a Saturday, yeah, Saturday. We left Sunday and drove about three and a half hours, I think maybe four. Oh my gosh, you guys, it was amazing. Um, so The Cure is like my favorite band. They've been my favorite band since I was 10 years old. And Jeremy got us tickets to go see them. And this is a like very close to a once in a lifetime opportunity for me because they're in their 60s. Um, they were still awesome. Like I was really, really impressed. Like they sounded the same live. So anyway, um, it, was, it was amazing. The funny part was we get there and it starts raining. So we got our ponchos and everything and it's outdoors. So we go, we sit outside and I was like, you know what? They're like, if you don't know who they are, um, they're like a goth band from the eighties almost. They're kind of like, uh, I don't even know. I almost think like they founded like the goth punk movement or not punk, but emo movement. So uh, anyway, so it was perfect that it was raining and we get there and you know it's still warm outside so the rain's not that bad and we get our ponchos and we go and we sit down and everything and if you guys don't know my husband he is a good old boy um but he he's not too good to go anywhere so here he is he's surrounded by a bunch of like old punk and goth adults and it's just crazy funny but we go we're sitting in the rain and the first band comes on and I had never heard of them, but they played and everything. It's still raining, but it's great. It's a good kind of rain. And they get off the stage. And then, you know, about 15 minutes passes. And the cure is literally getting ready to come on stage. And it lightnings and thunders. And they tell everybody to evacuate and go find shelter. And they'll let us know what's going to happen from this point. So I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, who knows when they're going to tour again. And I'm telling you, like... The minute the tickets went on sale, they were sold out. Um, you were on a waiting list to get on a waiting list. Like this is how rare of an opportunity it was. Um, and they made their tickets really, really affordable too. Like normally tickets like this would have been like $500. We paid $40 a piece for these. So anyway, so they're getting ready to come on or, you know, all this comes. I'm like, oh my gosh, you know. So we try to make our way back to the car, not really sure what we're going to do. And then Jeremy's like, we came all this way. You're not going to miss this. Let's go back and we'll wait until there's absolutely, you know, nothing we can do. So we go back and the rain starts to kind of calm down. They're like, okay, the show's going to go on. So we're like, yeah, you know, this is awesome. So we stand out there, wait a little bit longer. The cure is getting ready to come back on stage again. And I kid you not, a cloud passes and like it dumps rain on us again. But Anyway, they ended up coming on. It didn't rain the rest of the night. The show was amazing. Um, I honestly got a little bit emotional. So I was super, super tickled. I was showing you guys right there that I bought some of that Link L'Oreal spray stuff for your hair for like the heat stuff. It makes my hair super greasy. Um, just FYI. So my video is not near as long as it normally is because we didn't do a food haul because we didn't go to the grocery store. We had enough groceries here that we were good. Uh, two of my kids are going to camp this week, so I don't need as much as I normally do. So that's why it's shorter and I had a ton of stuff. So I like the idea of cleaning like one day a week. However, that's really not um, realistic for my house because we are so busy that I'm afraid if I saved all my cleaning for one day a week that it would turn into once a month. So it worked out well this week just because I had a lot to do, but I'm going to try and not make this a thing. So work has been really, really busy. I am, I'm not going to necessarily say I'm in charge because I don't feel like I'm experienced enough, but I've had to step up and take um just step up and do a lot of things right now we have some you know we have an employee that's on vacation for a little while so um that's what i'm trying to do so i've just been incredibly busy but anyway so that's what i spent this saturday i wanted to make sure that i didn't come home to a messy house and i just it needed done i had put it off all week because like i said super busy and that's okay so but i did i came in here and got it all done and it seems like it's 
my house is overall cleaner. It's not taking me near as long to get stuff done. So, you know, maybe this system will work. I don't want to, like I said, I don't want to count on it because I know myself and I'm easily distracted and things pop up all the time. Like I think the next three weekends we have stuff to do. So anyway, oh my gosh. Okay, so this Chlorellen, Chlorellen, I don't know what it is. It is gel bleach. I love British cleaning shows, specifically how clean is your house. One of my favorite, actually it is my favorite cleaning show. And they always have the liquid bleach. Um, and I just, I think it's a great product. Also, it's Obsessive Cleaners, I think. I'm trying to think of the name of the show. Anyway, um, one of the ladies on there, she loves the bleach too, um, the gel bleach. And I found this at Dollar General of all places on their little dollar section. And it's amazing. Now, I know a lot of people feel kind of strongly about bleach, like you shouldn't use it. I don't use it that often, um, but I do like to use it in my house because as you guys can see, it gets cluttered really easily. So I would like to have that peace of mind that things are sanitized. And honestly, I think in a bathroom, sometimes bleach is about the only thing you can use and in a kitchen. Those are the two areas like I really prefer to use bleach. Um, I don't use it daily, but I do like to use it, you know, probably about once a week. Well, if we're being honest now, I'm not really cleaning daily like the sanitizing stuff. Like I wipe my counters down and stuff. My, my toilet does get cleaned a little bit more often um, than probably a couple of the other surfaces because my six-year-old still uses, you know, he uses our bathroom and he's a boy. So, you know, aim's not that great. But y'all look at this. If you look back my videos about, you know, I'm almost going on two years now being on YouTube. This is huge progress for me. Like it didn't take me but maybe two hours of cleaning my whole house to get everything right back in order. And it felt like when we left, like I felt like the house was super clean and I was really great with it. You know, before two hours would have not made a dent. And so I'm really, really happy and proud of myself. Um, am I messy still? Yes. Am I gonna work on it? Yes. But you know what? I'm also gonna be content and happy with the progress. Like I said, last week was super busy, had a lot of good stuff going on, but there was still a lot of stuff. So I put cleaning off until Saturday. We left Sunday and then came back Monday. So I was, you know, super pressed for time, but it was all good stuff. So like I said, we had an awesome time. I'm so grateful to my husband for getting those tickets. Um, and you guys see here too, I mean, I've, I'm getting better about making messes as I go and like kind of cleaning but I don't know if that's something I'll ever quit doing. I, I would like to say that I, I will. Um, and I don't know, some people would be like, well, just stop doing it. And that is simple enough, right? It sounds like it. I wish I would, so. Now I have made progress in the area of like, I normally would have just let that stuff sit there instead of, you know, actually putting it up. You know, I want to make sure the whole bedroom was completely clean, so did that. And look, I got time to clean my windows again. I have cleaned my windows more this year than I have, well, probably the entire time I have had my own home. So, you know, of course, we got some laundry here. The laundry room left a lot to be desired, but y'all will see here in a minute that I, I do clean it up and put everything, you know, where it needs to go. Everybody uses the laundry room in the house, and it's usually the messiest room. Um, and it's it's me again it's me and I know that's terrible I need to lead by example and I don't um, so I'm trying to get a little bit better but I didn't clean the whole laundry room up it needs a good deep cleaning so the biggest problem we have here is we all just kind of throw clean clothes on the floor and again I know I say it every time it really defeats the purpose doesn't it of just you know washing your clothes and then here let's throw them right back on the floor but you know that's what happens we're trying to get better this is a week two. There was a ridiculous amount of clothes, as you guys will see at the end of the video. I probably had five or six loads. Now, I did a lot of laundry that was like, you know, the extra stuff that you kind of try to chip away at through the week. I didn't do laundry this week. Uh, well, no, I think I did one or two loads and they just sat in the living room. Then I had like three loads that I did this day. So there was quite a bit.
So the coffee cups reminded me, I'm actually cut down quite a bit on my caffeine intake. Well, no, not my caffeine intake, my coffee intake. So I have Invisalign now and you're not supposed to really drink anything other than water with it. My dentist said I could drink coffee with it. I just needed to make sure like I put peroxide in it. And I was like, eh. So I've just really cut down on it. Um, and I gotta say after that initial week, of putting it in and just getting used to it, I'm, I'm doing pretty well with it. So I'll tell you what, it definitely makes me think twice about what I eat because I'm like, am I really hungry or am I just bored? Because I gotta take these things out, I gotta go brush my teeth every time I eat. So I'm brushing my teeth like four or five times a day, which probably isn't that bad considering like the amount of coffee I have drank in the past year, couple years. So, um, and now it feels weird when I take them out. So, and I don't like popping them out. So. I have to say, yeah, my coffee intake's definitely gone down. Now, I'm drinking more energy drinks, which I know I shouldn't, but that's okay. I have discovered I am busy with my energy drinks. Um, everybody at a work where at my job drinks like the C4s and the bangs and all that. And I tried some, nope, too sweet for me, even though they're sugar free, I just uh, didn't care for it. I like my Red Bull, um, which I've been trying to cut down on those too. And just now that I'm doing 75 hard, I really just drink mostly water, so. Um, that was Pine Sol, I think. No, that was Mrs. Myers. I had found a whole bunch of um, spray can spray bottles underneath my kid's sink, and there was just like little bits left. So you're gonna see me like dumping them out because I was trying to use them all up. I have my mainly stuck with Pine Sol as my multi-purpose cleaner. I don't particularly like the smell. I have grown used to it, but I think it cleans the best as far as any cleaner I've ever used. So I'm gonna stick with that for the most part. It's also best uh, for the price. I can get it at Sam's Club. My kids like it. Um, they, you know, they help out too with cleaning and stuff. This area has been a catch-all. Um, you know, when I go to work, my kids are only here three days a week um, that I'm not home. And they do really, really well to keep the house clean. This mess up here, it's all me. Um, I am the clutter bug. I don't, uh, maybe it's just that in my mind, I know that I'll have to be the one to clean it up so I don't think about it. But you know, recently I gotta say, I gotta tell myself, my kids have, have picked up a lot of the slack and I don't really think that's fair. So that's something I'm trying to work on to make sure that they don't, you know, they aren't doing too much. I mean, I know kids need to, you know, put forth an effort and, and be a part of the household as well, but I also think there needs to be a limit. You know, I don't wanna put too much on my kids.
All right, y'all, so we are getting towards the end of the video. I had gotten sucked completely into Queen Charlotte, the new Bridgerton show on Netflix. So when you guys keep seeing me stop and stare, that is what happened. This was not on the same day. This was on Monday when we got back. I knew that I needed clothes folded because I had to go to work the next day. So that's what I was doing. It took me in real time about 45 minutes to get all this done and put away. I'm really trying to be better about putting my clothes straight away. But I say that and I realize I just fibbed and not on purpose. I've got a whole stack of clothes behind my bathroom door that need to go up. I'm terrible with folded clothes. I can hang them up and I can throw them in a box, but I can't put them in a drawer. I don't know. No, let me phrase it. I won't put them in a drawer. All right. Well, I'm going to let you guys enjoy this real sped up folding of the clothes. I love seeing stuff like slowly or, well, it's not slowly, quickly diminish, you know, a big mess turn into just empty space. So I hope wherever y'all are at, you are having a blessed one. Thank you guys again so much for choosing my video for your cleaning motivation or if you just want to see what's going on with me. You guys are just, you are amazing and I love you all. So I hope wherever you're at, I know I've already said this, but I'm going to say it again because you can never be blessed too many times. You're having a blessed one and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.